What is RF value in chromatography? Have you ever wondered how scientists identify and separate different components in a mixture? One key tool they use is called the RF value, or retention factor, in chromatography. Imagine you're trying to figure out what's in a colorful ink mixture. Chromatography is a method that helps separate these colors based on how they interact with a solvent and a stationary phase, like paper or a TLC plate. The RF value is a simple ratio that tells us how far a particular substance has traveled compared to the solvent front. It's calculated by measuring the distance the substance or spot has moved from the starting point and dividing it by the distance the solvent front has moved. For example, if a spot moves three centimeters up the paper and the solvent front moves six centimeters, the RF value would be three centimeters, six centimeter equals 0 0.5. This value helps scientists understand whether the substance prefers to stick with the stationary phase or move with the solvent. RF values are always less than one because the solvent front always moves further than the substance. If an RF value is close to one, it means the substance and the solvent front are traveling almost together, which isn't very useful for identification. The polarity of the substance also plays a big role. More polar substances will stick more to the stationary phase, like water molecules in the pores of the filter paper, and thus travel less distance, resulting in a lower RF value. These values are crucial for comparing results from different chromatograms. If the conditions are the same, same solvent, same stationary phase, same temperature, the RF value for a given substance should remain constant. This allows scientists to compare unknown substances to known ones and determine if they are the same compound. So the next time you see a colorful chromatogram, remember that the RF values are the secret to understanding what's in the mixture and how each component behaves.